motion. Objects in the universe are either at rest or in motion. Body at rest. A body is said to be at rest if it occupies the same position irrespective of time. A body changing its position with reference to time is said to be in motion. However, rest and motion are relative terms and they must always be referred to a particular frame of reference chosen by the observer. Thus we can say that a body is at rest if its position remains unaltered with respect to the surroundings and a body is in motion if it changes its position with respect to the surroundings. Most of the observations made on Earth are related to a frame of reference attached to it and all objects move along with the Earth and the frame of reference is the Sun. Nature of Motion Motion of a body may be either translatory or rotatory or a combination of the two. A body is said to undergo translatory motion if a line joining any two points on the body always remains parallel for all positions of the body. Translatory motion can be classified as rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion. If the path of motion of the points is on a straight line, then the motion is called rectilinear translatory motion. For example, a stone falling vertically downwards, a train moving on a straight track, undergo translatory motion. If the motion of the body is along the curved path in such a way that any line drawn along the body remains always parallel to its original direction, then the motion is called curvilinear. The motion of chairs in a vertical merry-go-round is an example for curvilinear motion. On the other hand, a body is said to have rotatory motion when any straight line taken on it moves about a fixed point or axis. Spinning of the earth on its axis is an example for rotary motion. At times, a body executes both rotary motion and translatory motion. A moving train is an example for this type of motion.